Sin City Tattoos. I uh, want to take the time today to discuss on my channel some um, some different uh, pieces of equipment that can adversely affect your tattoo machine's performance. Okay, uh, your tattoo machine basically it's it's the last piece of equipment in a, in a line of uh, you know in a chain of, of other pieces of equipment. So really, it's an indicator uh, in some ways of how your other equipment uh, in this chain is, is performing. Uh, what I mean to say is your tattoo machine is attached to a clip cord uh, or an RCA cord, uh, which in turn is attached to a power supply, uh, etc. So, so really, this tattoo machine is um, an indicator uh, in a lot of ways of how everything that precedes it in this chain of equipment is performing or not performing. We'll start with the beginning uh, piece of equipment in the chain of, of uh, your tattoo setup. Uh, I have a power supply here. It's Hurricane. Okay, I have a wireless foot pedal. Uh, that doesn't really matter. Uh, you know, but anyway, I have a wireless foot pedal. Um, we want for this machine to operate efficiently, consistently, and predictably. We want it to operate at a voltage uh, that uh, is in line with what is displayed on the screen. For example, this says 8 volts, okay? Uh, what I want to do first, and we'll take this off and we'll put a clip cord on here. Um, I want to show you, my viewers, whom I really appreciate. You guys are great new viewers and subscribers all the time. I really appreciate that. I'm flattered when folks call me and, and I ask questions. And I certainly will always take time out of my day to, to speak with subscribers. Uh, whether you want to blast me or you want to, you know, run something past me. I'm, I'm game for all that, okay? That's why I do this. I have a good time. It's fun. Uh, I don't fucking know everything. But I do know a lot. Um, okay, we've got a clip cord on here. And what, what I encourage each of you to do, no matter how fancy or how uh, bargain basement your tattoo power supply is, it needs to do one thing, and one thing only, outside of all the other fancy you know, features, it needs to do one thing, and that's supply of voltage that is consistent and accurate, okay? Uh, outside of that, I don't care what it does. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and I've got it set up at 8 volts. Uh, it's just to make it easy uh, for this demonstration. Okay, I'm going to take my clip cord. I've got my multimeter. Okay, uh, and uh, if you don't have one of these, if you've seen my other videos, you really need to get one. Uh, if you're serious about your tattoo equipment and its performance and understanding how this all works, get one. 20 bucks, man. Uh, 20 bucks Home Depot, Walmart. Go ahead and get you one. Take the pros of your multimeter, set your multimeter to voltage, you know, 20 volts is fine because you're not going to run a goddamn tattoo machine over 20 volts. Uh, I hope not. Uh, anyway, you're going to hook your probes up, you're going to step on your power supply. Okay, we've got 7.91 volts to the end of this clip cord, okay? Now, that being said, my power supply says 8 volts. To the end of this clip cord, I've got 7.9 volts, okay? That's great. Okay, there is always some loss in efficiency between the distance of the power supply and how far it has to travel. There's a loss in that. There are better or worse clip cords out there on the market. Okay, <clears throat> so we know that this thing has got 7.92 volts. To the, to the clip cord, okay? Now, let me turn my machine off. Dope! Plug this clip cord in. Shut up!
Okay. Goddamn Kawasaki. Anyway, okay. 8 volts to here, 7.92 volts for here. Okay. <clears throat> now, as the voltage travels from the power supply through the clip cord, through your machine, there's a lot that that, that, uh, that current is, a lot of distance in there that current is uh, having to travel. Okay, it has to travel the length of your clip cord, it has to come in through the rear binding post, through the solder lug, through the end wrap wire uh, of your rear coil, uh, up the rear coil, out the, uh, out the uh, start wrap wire, lead wire of your rear coil, on through the uh, uh, start wrap wire, uh, lead wire of your front coil, all through the 8, 10, whatever wraps you have of your, of your front coil, out through to the uh, uh, end wire of your front coil, up uh, to the contact screw, uh, up to the front binder post of the contact screw where the cycle, where this machine cycles, okay? <laughs> it might not seem like a lot, but when you've got, you know, eight wraps here, eight wraps here, uh, lead wires back here, capacitor solder lug up to here, through less conductive material like brass, to your cycle point, uh, that's a lot of distance to cover, okay? There's going to be some voltage loss. It's normal. What your goal is, is to identify where the most amount of voltage loss is, how you can change that, and make your machine run more efficiently, okay? Uh, so, um, that being said, <coughs> uh, we're going to test here uh, at, at a couple points on the tattoo machine um, where... Uh, you know, how much current is, is being lost in this machine as it runs, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and turn the machine on with the clip cord. How do you get up here? My bad. Okay. So you've got 7 volts, okay, at the cycle point. Alright. Uh, 6 point. 6.86 volts at the cycle point. What I'm what I'm getting to, what I'm getting at is, uh, you think you're running at eight volts, you're running at six volts. Okay, I don't know what your machines are doing, but this is how you you find out. Okay, you're running at six volts. Okay, uh, but that being said, real quick, six volts. <laughs> that baby's trucking. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Uh, anyhow, so, uh, and, and what I want to say uh, in, in that regard is uh, you can change a binding post from brass to copper. That's going to increase your uh, performance, okay? Copper is much more conductive than brass, uh, okay? Brass contact screw. Change that to silver. Guarantee you're going to increase your efficiency. Guaranteed. Change your, co change your front binding post to copper, change this to silver, or even copper, okay? Uh, and you're going to notice an increase in your machine's efficiency. You're going to lose less power between the power supply and where the machine cycles, which is the contact screw. Okay. Gonna plug us in an RCA cord, which I much prefer. There it is. 7.65. <laughs> and I promise you, man, because I do tattoo machines that I build here that power up and cycle with an 11 mag and a rubber band attached to it. They power up and cycle on their own at less than two volts. So I guarantee you, RCA cord and change the conductive material of your binding post and your contact screw and your rear binding post, I guarantee you, you're gonna get closer to, uh, to this machine putting out to what it says on your power supply, okay? So, uh, 